Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Never impressive. But never duplicate. 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 Hey everybody, how's it going out there? I'm doing pretty good. Hope you guys are doing good as well. So I ended up getting a new bridge, a roller bridge, and it's not one that El Cheapo's or anything else. It's actually a decent roller bridge. Kind of like the roller bridges a lot more. They're comfortable as far as doing palm muting goes. Uh, no sharp edges digging into your hand or anything else like that like you would have from a normal blade uh, uh, settled tunematic bridge. So all I'm going to do with this thing is I'm not going to remove the strings. There is no reason to remove them. They're already stretched. They're new. And uh, I'm going to just do it an easy way. Get rid of the tailpiece and move that off to the side. Compare it to two bridges. Now the bridge, the new roller bridge is a 52 millimeter from uh, EDE. And uh, it is a little bit wider than the standard tunematic bridge that was on there already. Uh, putting my strings more over the pole pieces of the pickups, which, you know, that's kind of how it's supposed to be. So I got lucky with that. I ordered it a 52, uh, a couple millimeters bigger than the one that was stock that came with this guitar after trying to put the Wilkinson's roller bridge on here, which was uh, not wide enough to put the strings over the pole pieces correctly. So I'm just going to tune her up. And after she's tuned up, I'm going to just intonate it, get that done, uh, make sure that my action height is where I want it and everything else, and uh, yeah, start fooling around with this thing. It has been an actually a good guitar. I'm kind of surprised. After doing all the work that I had to do with the neck and putting better uh, frets on here and uh, leveling it and everything else, it seems like everything's... Uh, kind of matched up and, and, and just fell into place just right. So I am surprised. Uh, I kind of figured that there was going to be a lot of problems with this guitar and it was just going to be another one of those chips and piece of craps. Well, it's still chips and so I, I would say it kind of falls in to that piece of crap. As far as weight goes with this thing, it's about the standard weight of a Les Paul. Uh, I have quite a few Les Paul guitars that uh, I can compare it to. I don't think this thing is chambered out on the other side of the flame maple veneer. You know, I don't, it's a veneer, so. But who knows? It's got a cap on there, probably just a uh, mahogany cap, because the way that has been routed out on the inside for the controls and everything else, you could tell that, you know, there's a glued cap on this. So I go ahead and check everything with the uh, piece of paper and compared the old bridge I hate these old bridges they got the spring going that goes across the top of the uh, screws for intonating it and sometimes you see those things move on an angle when you're trying to intonate I hate that shit so let's see what else is going on here so this was I think Sunday last Sunday the 16th of April yeah ain't it beautiful after having 80 degree weather for several days and then before that being in the uh, low to middle 70s ended up getting a lot of the yard work done and some other stuff done that's why I haven't been around on YouTube and uh, again we got to snow kind of knew it was coming but uh, didn't think it was going to be you know like this well Chicago weather what do you know all right so now that the flamed neck chips in is pretty much complete I really don't have to do anything else to it Unless, you know, whatever else I do, it would be something upgrade or electronic upgrade or something. But, to be honest, it doesn't need it. Plays good. It's comfortable. And it glows in the dark. So what I ended up doing is I was uh, taking pictures of the Snake Neck Inlay uh, kit guitar. And I got that up on eBay. And I ended up using the black light. And I was like, wow, you know, the Chipson's glowing as well. So I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So if I turn this a little bit to where it's not getting so much of a glare from the black light, there you go. Looks pretty cool, huh? It's actually pretty interesting. I like it.